Many memorable moments have happened on the journey to Hidden Peak on that tram over the years. And one of my favorite tram memories is the very first time I went up with my dad. And we couldn't get into the dock because there was too much snow on the upper dock. And we just looked over at him and he just collapsed. One time a windy day, it hit the tower and the back windows flew out of the tram. And one of the things that you wouldn't, wouldn't believe, actually there's a lot of things that you wouldn't believe. And one of my favorite stories, it was Bob Thicker and Reed Seedeloff. Reed laid on top of the tram and Ficker was holding his ankles and inched him over the edge of the tram so that his face would slowly come into view on the outside of the tram windows and freak out the people inside. The tram has a lot of miles on it. It's close to 800,000 miles, which is enough miles to travel to the moon and back one and a half times. Speaking of moons, <laughs> The ski school used to take the tram at the end of the day to do a training session on top of Hidden Peak. The patrol was in one tram, the ski school was in the other tram, and, and they each independently had an idea that they would moon the other people. And so when they passed, it happened. Pressed hams all against the window. Each one thought they would get it over on the other, but it was a dual moon event. But there were so many stories up here. So much, it's still just as much fun.